<laughs> All right, I'll, I'll just say a quick uh, introduction and then we'll go into the questions. Okay, we are here with the head coach, Carla Barubi, and the three senior tri-captains of the Tufts University women's basketball team, who just advanced to the program's first ever Final Four with an exciting 61-59 victory over Ithaca College in the Elite Eight here at Cousins Gym today. Uh, coach, so what can you say? Um, going to the Final Four, um, you know, the past two teams have been to the Sweet 16 going into this year. Uh, was this a goal, and, and how did it happen? Yeah, it absolutely was. Um, it was something we talked about um, beginning of the season, midway through the season, um, and, and, and and it's what we've been working for um, from the you know the day after losing in the, the Sweet 16 last year. Um, we decided that we were going to get to work, and um, and we had players that that believed we could we could do it. With a lot of hard work, with unbelievable leadership from from these three, um, and an unbelievable crowd uh, behind us, uh, we were able to do it. Um, but it was it was absolutely one of our one of our goals: the SCAC championship, and then and then a Final Four berth. Um, so we're thrilled, um, excited, a little bit in in awe um, still. And we're, we're headed to Wisconsin. Uh, Liz, you've called this season a journey, and it's certainly not over yet. But from a player's perspective, you know, from the season opening tournament at Rochester through the year, uh, what has got the team to this point where it's going to the first Final Four in team history? I mean, first and foremost, I'll say defense. Um, it's something we, we practice every single day. And, um, you know, when our shots aren't falling and when our energy is low, we know that, yeah, you know, we just come back to our defense and defensive stops are what's going to fuel our offense, it's what's going to give us energy. It's, one of, it's what's going to help us come together as a team. Um, and yeah, all season we've, we've talked about this. It's a climb. And, uh, and we've made it. We've, we've made it all the way to Wisconsin, which is that peak that's been in the distance for, for so long. And I could not be prouder of our team. I just, yeah, I think, I think we're still in shock. Um, <laughs> and it doesn't really feel real. I think it'll feel real when we step on, on the plane. But, you know, it's been an amazing season. I couldn't have asked for any more from my teammates. So. Allie, you certainly contributed big this weekend um, with your game last night and seven more points today. Talk a little bit about the game uh, against Ithaca and, you know, we've got to give them uh, kudos for, for making it difficult, yeah, what happened absolutely. out there today. Yeah, I mean, they're a great team and we knew coming in, um, you know, Elite Eight teams, you're not going to get an easy game. Um, it's going to be a fight and they fought to the very, very end. Um, yeah, it was very exciting. Uh, a lot to, goes to my teammates, you know, they really pulled it out in the end of the game there, and uh, yeah, it's really exciting. Now, Caitlin, um, when you came to the team as a freshman, uh, you know, it was already well established as a, a national team. Um, is that one of the reasons you came to Tufts? I mean, did you, did you hope at some point you'd be able to play on this type of a stage? I mean, I think that's always something you hope for, but I had no idea what to expect coming to Tufts. To be honest, the reason I chose Tufts for basketball was because of how close the team seemed when I came on my recruiting visit. Everyone was really close-knit, and that's what I've really gotten out of this experience. And it's been the most special being able to have the success with the teammates that I'm going to hopefully be friends with forever. So, Coach, what did you think were the keys to the win today? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think it was, it was making stops when we needed to. Um, we, we set, you know, forth in, the, in our, um, in our pregame that we were going to, to pound in the post. We were going to put it into, into Haley and, and Michaela every chance we got. And, um, they really did some work down there. Um, especially in the second half, Michaela, um, was a, was a big force. Haley in the first half. And, but it, you know, it was getting it was getting stops and it was it was getting out on, on three point shooters which towards the end there didn't didn't go so well. Um, give a lot of credit to, to Ithaca. They um, they absolutely fought to the to the bitter end and um, they made some huge shots. They have some unbelievable senior uh, senior class that um, really stepped up for them and um, it was it was a grind. It was it was tough and. 
we knew it going in that this was going to be a, a, a hard fought, a hard fought game. And, and again, we feel we feel um, you know lucky that that we came out on, on top again. But I think just my my players' um, resilience and and just their hard work from from minute one to, to minute forty, the great energy from everyone um, on the floor and, and on on the bench. Um, it was really just a, a team effort. So obviously not going to the Final Four uh, just to have a good time, going to win. So let's wrap this up with uh, you three tri-captains. What, what has to happen? What's the team need to continue to do moving forward to the Final Four to win? You know, uh, we've been saying it all season. Like when we come together as a team, uh, you know, Coach always refers to it like one island. When we come together as a team and we play the way we're capable of playing defensively, offensively, um, we come down, we play our game. Um, you know, we've been telling our team all season that you know we there's not a team in the country that, that can stick with us because um, because we play for each other and um, we have become so close throughout the course of this year. I think we we've been hanging out for the past six six and a half months now, and, and you know I think that playing for each other and and that fire that we have every single time we step out on the court, like if we if we keep that going, then no one's standing in our way. Yeah, it's a selfless team. You can tell any given day, anyone scoring your high, your high score changes every day. So it's really fun to play on a team like that. No one cares about their stats. It's just everyone's playing to win. Everyone's playing for each other. Like Liz said, it's really fun. Yeah, we're gonna keep that fire burning. Right yeah. Here we are. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you very much, and good luck in Wisconsin. Thanks. Thank you.